All right, and with Rachel MacArthur, just won the Adidas Challenge earlier today, time around 18.07, her first race of the season. Uh, Rachel, how did it feel just shaking the cobwebs out and getting that first race under the belt? Um, it's good to just having start my season now because last year I didn't run as much. So I'm glad that I was able to come out here and get it started and kick off with not really a fast race, but I feel like just a, just a good solid race and a, a good win. So um, confidence wise, I feel good about it. Yeah, competition today, a uh, very familiar competition to you. Most of the top runners from, from, from VA with Rachel Northcutt and Casey Kendall. Um, did that feel, feel uh, you know, having those familiar faces early on kind of make you feel more comfortable and settled in? Yeah, I mean, we all stuck together kind of the first, I'd say, mile and a half till the first hill. And um, then it kind of just broke off. But um, yeah, it feels, it's, it's always cool running with uh, people you know and people you've trained with before. I mean, Casey and I have gone on runs together and I, I know Rachel, I'm good friends with her. So yeah, it's cool just having um, close friends all close with you when you're running. I think that kind of made an impact on how it played out in my mind, like strategy-wise. Yeah, yeah. And that crazy 24 hours for you. Uh, <laughs> lost your spikes yesterday. Yeah. Uh, how, how, uh, you know, <laughs> a wreck were you with uh, just worrying about having uh, racing shoes for today? Yeah, I mean, last night we came to the course yesterday, and I was doing strides, and I left my spikes here, and I lost them. So I was kind of freaking out last night because I was going to run the race in trainers. But um, luckily, a girl on my team, Taylor, gave me her spikes to race in. They were a little big, but they fit, and I raced in those, so... But already in my mind, I was a little, like, freaking out still. Um, so, it was good, though. I mean, it turned out fine. Spikes worked out. I didn't have to race in trainers. So, yeah, it was hectic, but... Yeah, yeah. Is it it's the best. Is it tough, though, when you know, anything you have routine or throws you off, just trying to get your head right for races? Is it, is it really difficult trying to um, prepare? I mean, at first, yeah, because I was kind of like, I don't have a plan. But, um, I feel like just being able to overcome little things like that like that could happen at any race anyone could forget their spikes I mean mm -hmm. you have to just kind of get over it so I did got mm -hmm. up I was like I'm just gonna use someone else's spikes yeah. so I did and it was fine yeah last time you uh, were here you were racing on basically a torn quad uh, trying to make it to Nike you know how's it feel now to be healthy and you know back on this course yeah I mean it felt good this is I, I really like this course I mean this is where I ran my sophomore I mean I ran sophomore NXR here uh, junior NXR here and just kind of like all the memories of those races, I mean, whether it was like winning XR or just being injured and still making it, it's kind of like was in my mind running it. I said, it's my first or last first race this season of ever for high school cross country. So I kind of wanted to at least win it today. I mean, I wasn't so focused on time as I was just telling myself, you know, like I'm still a good competitor. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, and he had so much uh, early success as underclassmen at the longer distance in cross country, but middle distance success, especially last spring around the 206, 800, uh, probably made you think of yourselves more of a middle distance runner. How are you kind of com combating that success to you know, have belief and confidence in yourself running in the longer distance this fall? Yeah, I mean, definitely when it comes to the end of races, I know that a lot of girls have good kicks, but I don't know any girls that I'm racing that run a close 800 same mile 400 as I do mm -hmm. so I kind of always have that in my mind that I have a good kick and not that I rely on that every time but definitely that my kick is just something that I count on so yeah yeah and then you're busy uh, now with the college visits uh, you know last couple weeks and going ahead a couple weeks uh, what's that been like uh, you know you know handling that with your work I mean your schoolwork your running racing and stuff and mm -hmm and having those experiences, what have you been getting out of those trips? Yeah, I mean, it's hard balancing, of course, school and running and now throwing in the whole college decision pressure. But, um, I mean, I definitely have college in my mind, but I'm kind of focused on also my senior year, just making it a good year. So, so kind of same mentality as I have had over the years with in mind that, you know, colleges are watching, colleges like want to see what I can do. And that just kind of helps me. I mean, I'm balancing everything. I brought homework with me. I do homework everywhere. <laughs> I cross train doing homework. but. Um, yeah, I, it's a lot more pressure, I think. A lot more work, but I mean, mm -hmm. that's just what it requires work, right. so. Yeah, yeah. And you've gone to NXN the last two years. Is Are you gonna try to make a third trip? Or you, I know last year you left it late to decide uh, on the on the on which meet to go to with NXN or Full Locker. Yeah, I mean, last year I did NXR because I was familiar with the course. I felt confident going into that with my injury. I knew how to race it, I knew what to do. So depending on this year, I mean, however I'm running, it's going to depend on how I feel. That's why my decision was late because I don't know it's the last minute how I'm feeling. So 
for now, I don't know. I mean, the season just started, so I'll know by postseason, but mm -hmm. right now it's up in the air. All right. Well, good luck uh, you know, making that decision, also the college decision coming up, and uh, congrats on the win Thank you. Uh, here today. Thanks. Thanks, Rachel.